we got a generic uh, like universal uh, harness bar from Summit Racing and we are basically making it work uh, it's it's gonna take cutting welding and probably a little bit of <laughs> everything above hit that subscribe button give the video a thumbs up comment down below what you think What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today we are working on Big Girl. We're working on Frostbite and we are doing a much needed modification. Um, kind of a safety thing. Let me get out of the sun for a minute. That the uh, the tracks have been giving me a lot of grief over uh, because we have aftermarket seats and we have uh, the uh, four actually five point harnesses is a harness bar um so what we've done is we got a generic uh like universal uh harness bar from summit racing and we are basically making it work uh it's it's gonna take cutting welding and probably a little bit of <laughs> everything above but we're getting there um so kind of going to show you what we've got going on so far so as you can see let me zoom out um, right now we have the side pillars a pillars whatever you want to call it we got the plastic trim off and this is the summit bar that is too short for a pickup truck um, this is the longest bar i could find um and what we have to do as you can see is we had to cut the bar and we got uh while i was down there we got a piece of uh chromoly pipe or bar um, round stock whatever you want to call it that fits inside of it pretty snug um, to give us some adjustability that way we could adjust the bar out to the length we need and then once i get everything uh, fabbed up to where everything's in a bolt and uh, go where I need it to go then we are going to weld this up to make it one piece again and then afterwards um, we'll either rattle can it or I may take it to my powder coat guy and have him powder coat it I don't know yet but that's pretty much what we got going on um, as you can see that is bolted to the factory um, seat belt uh, upper portion factory hardware bolt uh, that is one of the standard brackets that came in this kit and it actually fits in there pretty good almost like it was meant for it um we did have to on the bracket the little ears i did have to tweak them bend them out a little bit to get that angle as you can see um the harness bar has a little bit of an angle to it and those notches you can probably see right there so we kind of had to bend those little uh, mounting tab ears out a little bit so the bar would fit in between there um but yeah and then these are already welded on um from summit on this bar and what those guys are for not sure what we're going to do here yet uh oh, they're back here let me grab one i got all kind of junk in the back of this truck right now <laughs> so you got two of these adjustable um bars with little uh i don't know johnny joints whatever you want to call them on the ends turnbuckles <coughs> and the idea of these bars is to go up here either way on that bracket and then catch something down here well initially i could probably get a custom bar made or maybe even cut that re-weld it um but would, what would be ideal is to catch this factory bolt hole down here and go to here so it would look something like something like this try to pull a camera back here 
Um, and that would work. Do that for both sides. Um, other thing I'm thinking that might be um, easier and or maybe better. It might, might be a little stronger because it would be a little further out. Is on the seat frame um, right here. Actually weld a little tab on the side of the seat frame to catch it like so. Um, and do something like that. That's what I'm kind of thinking of. And the factory length of these bars would actually be perfect for that. Because um, it is literally right where the seat frame bars or the seat frame would be. Um, so for instance, this is the driver's seat. If this was the, well, we'll just go in here to the passenger seat. Make this uh, easier. There we go. Passenger seat. We could come off of this frame right here because this is stationary. It stays bolted down. Um, now, if I did want to remove the seats, I would have to at least unbolt the lower portion of this bar from the seat um, to remove the seats if I'm working on the truck or whatever, but that ain't a big deal. But I could weld a tab onto these uh, brackets from Corbeau, where we bought these seat bracket frames from. And, uh, you know, the bar would sit something like this and would still not interfere with the seat. The seat would still be able to slide up and down and whatnot. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about doing that. Um, granted, this step right here, that will be the very last thing we do because um, we will be getting the bar and everything actually mounted to the truck first um, before we worry about mounting that lower or this lower link um, either to the truck somewhere or to that seat frame um, but just kind of giving you guys a future heads up how we may do that i don't know this is kind of going step up step by step i wish somebody actually made a bolt-in factory bar that would be awesome um i'm sure i could probably make these and i, I probably could sell a few of them but I tell you don't really have the time um, so that's why I'm trying to make this little kind of how-to do-it-yourself thing. Um, it's very possible. Um, like I said, this is already working better than I thought. It's kind of going pretty good. You know, for a Summit Universal Bar, that, that bar, I think it was like 200 bucks or something like that. I'll put the link in the description of the one that I bought. Um, the Cromoly, the Cromoly uh, round stock that we bought, that was kind of expensive um i think it's a three foot section um and that was like 59 bucks from summit i'm sure i could have got it cheaper somewhere else or maybe some not so expensive uh round bar maybe just some regular mild steel but they didn't have that all they had was fancy metal um but i think it's going to add a lot more strength to it um because like i said i didn't cut this bar that we added to the inside so this bar is actually going all the way to about the ends of both bars so it's uh you know it added a little bit more weight but it's definitely gonna make this overall structure when it's welded back together super strong um it's gonna be very strong so i think it's gonna work pretty good that's pretty much it um when i get done i'm pretty sure i'm going to be able to uh put the factory plastics back on um, I think the only thing we may have to modify slightly, if at all, is going to be the slot right here where the factory uh, seat belt buckle slid up and down. Um, we may have to make this hole a little larger or maybe trim this whole section out right here. But over all in all, we'll be able to put all the plastics and trim back on the truck and you're really not going to know that it was modified per se um with a quick look it should still look pretty uh pretty factory so yeah so that's it for today a uh, quick little update of future stuff going down with frostbite um we got the trailer almost done as you guys can see we got the new toy over here still uh getting time to mess with it a little bit but trailer's pretty much done. Um, we're just doing some outside stuff on it here soon. But other than that, hope you guys enjoy the little video. Stay tuned. Um, when I get it all finished, we'll do another 
uh, part two to this video and uh, let you guys see how it all turned out. So till the next time, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And you guys have a good one.